Hey guys, don't let hackers steal your financial data. Go to expressvpn.com slash rooster for more info. It's Christmas, and today I'm making you cook a Yule log. Kayla, what is your experience with cooking? Last week I made a Japanese souffle cheesecake. That's fantastic. You're not allowed to help Chris at all. Last week I made a pumpkin pie. Not Well, there's a big asterisk mark where it says pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, God. Have you ever made a Yule log before, Chris? I don't know what a Yule log is. <laughs> Have you ever encountered a Yule log? Is it like a fruitcake? No. A Yule log is a rolled up chocolate cake with cream in between the rolls. So you get this nice little spiral. This is a little Debbie snack. This is a giant little Debbie snack. You gotta make whatever that is. Uh -huh. You gotta make some sort of cream. For some reason, people wanna eat Lincoln Logs. I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's easy. We don't get a recipe. No, what he does get is $10 at the supermarket and then whatever's in my kitchen. Okay, let's go. Okay. There's a single stick of butter, but it's, it's only garlic and herb. Frosting is just sugar and water. If you melt marshmallows, uh -huh. you can then reform them into whatever shape you want. You're gonna burn down my kitchen. And I have to buy a whole big bag because I asked the dude, he said they don't sell cranberries individually, so I couldn't do it my way. <laughs> I think we need something long and thin for, to, to, to do the, the cake that we roll. Okay. Dude. You made me get dude, the big milk. Is the milk $14? <laughs> All right, we've got ingredients. We've got the chef. We got the sous chef. Step one, how do you make a cake? This powdered flour and then eggs, butter, milk, and sugar. You know, most bakers, they say like, mix your dries first and then mix your wets first. You just go right at it. <laughs> There's so much in this mixing bowl. There's just so much going on here. There you go, that's a stick of butter. <laughs> Let's do a third of it and we'll, okay. we'll taste it. I've never seen anybody scoop out a piece of butter out of their baking. I'm afraid of like those things, so. <laughs> Wait, what? My eight-year-old has used them. I've used them before. Maybe we should add more milk. Add some milk. Do you think water will work? Do a little milk, a little water. Sorry. Flour. Kicked up. See, this is what I'm talking about. Well, you usually you use two hands instead of just one holding a random cup. Okay, there you go. There's some cocoa. Look how chocolatey it looks already. I think we could do some more. That's a stiff peak. That's a stiff peak, That's which is which is what you want your cake batter to do. Well, I more water, guys. Why so much water? I do it just to be, it was thick. There's other things you can put in there. The aesthetics is one thing, but what really matters is the taste. It's very flowery. <laughs> We're putting more sugar in, everybody. I'm gonna need the editor to put his best estimate of what's in this thing so far up on the screen right now so people can follow along at home. We should do more butter. Please put that in a bowl above the microwave. I have a Oh grill. god, oh god, that is- It's not emulsifying. That is bad, I'm not putting this in my mouth. I have self-respect and care. I wish the camera could truly catch the film of sugar that refuses. <laughs> this is like when you put an entire packet of cocoa powder into your milk and you can't get it fully yeah, like. But it's like a mousse. It is very mousse-like. That's actually a very good describer. And there's some more butter because that's what's gonna fix this. Makes I'm hearing a lot of negativity, yeah. but in sarcasm. At this point, I'd like you to put a picture of my Yule log that I made up on the screen. I think I think you're at um pour into the bowl level. Do we have oils? oils. Do we have oils? <laughs> okay, you buttered it. The ridges. First try. That was actually impressive. Did you put down yeah. butter yeah. and then, and then paper. parchment paper? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want I don't want Yeah, he did. They might so want the <laughs> the stick. So you put in butter, and then you put in parchment paper, and then you're buttering the parchment paper. Yes. This is a war crime. <laughs> Go for it. That sounds pleasant. Well, it doesn't look good either. It's gonna rise. Hey, Chris. Yeah. What makes cakes rise? Did we need yeast? Maybe. We needed yeast. Do you have yeast? I don't have yeast. I don't have active yeast. Well, not all cakes need to rise. Another great shirt. Oh, that is hot. Yeah. That's hot. That's why I don't preheat. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? I don't preheat. What do you do then? I eyeball it. Are you saying you put everything in your oven cold and then turn the oven on with the things in there? And then just let the heat rise with the cooking thing? Yes. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, okay? You're gonna wanna pull the cake out, put it up on the stove. We're gonna 
cut that and it's gonna it's gonna gush. This looks like a mattress topper. Alright, you need to roll that. I have to feel this. No. Oh. It's so thick. Again, almost like we didn't put in an ingredient that makes it rise. Worldwide exclusive. That seems like a bit much. You're buying me a new microwave. I'm just letting you know this right now. I don't, I don't want to cook too fast. I'm going to defrost the bowl. All right, we're going to defrost the marshmallows. <laughs> if we do enough of these episodes, we really should make a recipe book for all of this. And the book should just be called, I'm sorry, I made you this. Oh, well, look, come here. Can check this out? What's going on? They're rising. Are they? And you said I couldn't rise something without yeast. Yeah, well, apparently horse hooves rise. I need to get a steady shot of this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This is a good consistency. Okay. It's very sweet smelling. Should we add flour or something to like counteract the sweetness? I don't think so. <laughs> Just trust me. What are you doing? I'm putting an egg. Into? The cream. For what? To thicken it. Roll what? out of marshmallows. The whole egg. Yes, trust me. What's our workman's comp policy? <laughs> like if I get food sickness on the job, what is... I think more importantly is what, our, what is our safety word for when we're cooking with Chris? Uh, do you have like some, what do you call it? Like an oil to put the cranberries in. Because you're going to do what to them? We're going to saute them. What are you reducing the cranberries for? Because so they don't taste bad. But what are the, where where are they going? On top. Okay. You see I'm adding sugar to it? I know you're adding sugar to it. I can see it. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, these turned out good. Did they? Those turned out good? Because <laughs> that's taste. <laughs> How do your saute cranberries taste, Chris? We're going to need a little more sugar to put that. <laughs> And now we need to get started on the frosting, which is the powdered sugar and water. Have you ever seen that video of the raccoons trying to wash their cotton candies? <laughs> the sugar needs a little more sugar. No, just go. Just go. Just go. Big. Is there another ingredient that we have that may assist in the process? Buttercream frosting. It's in the name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take just the yolk of the egg, and I'm going to microwave this. Okay. So it cooks the salmonella. You have microwaved an egg, but are not going to use it. It's a bad idea. You've you've poached it an egg. It looks like a perfectly sunny side up egg. Kayla, do you want to spread it? Yeah. It's a big roll. Yeah. We didn't even use all the batter. Okay, what's your method? Like a sushi? Yeah, it's like a, it's just like a sushi like roll. Like a tatami? It's so hot. We need to bend this to hold it into place. The cake. No, no, the metal. This is exactly how I made it with my mom. <laughs> well, okay, okay. No, pull, pull. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I can't look at it. We'll quickly, frosting. <laughs> frosting is baking this makeup. I agree. Another shirt. We're putting the crisp back in Christmas. <laughs> Should we just do just on one side? That's what the picture looked like. But I think we do a little more. more? No, 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 yeah, I think less. Like, that's good, that's I'm good. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> All right. Show me your thing, right? Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. That's a Christmas card right there. We got our Christmas sweaters. Christmas sweaters. Available now at the Rooster store. Joy.Rooster.com. Go there and then make this and show us how impressed your family is. It's like a meatloaf. <laughs> it did come out pretty, but look, that is... A log. <laughs> that is a log, my friend. All right, I want you both to put a bite in your mouth at the exact same time, okay? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> the crabber actually really does help the flavor. How you doing there, Kayla? <laughs> I'm salivating because it's so cool. It's a little thick. Thoughts? It's caked the roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It also dehydrates the roof of your mouth. If I had to compare it to something, uh -huh. I would compare it to like a bad protein bar. Yeah. Where it's really just, there's a chalky Dusty. texture to it. Yeah, it tastes chocolate for sure. It you can sugar. see how dense the texture is. Where it's just there's there's no there's nothing in there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for making us our very first Christmas treat. I'm I'm very much in the holiday spirit there's now. More of these? I, I'm going back. For well, I'm just saying like this like this is my first holiday tree of the season. You know like this is like oh, this I've is... I've now had a Yule log. You know I'm hanging out with friends. There's cranberries. Thanks for cooking us for us again, Chris. Okay. Mm. All right. Subscribe. Wait. See you, see you guys next time. Get a nice sweater. They're not falling. Oh, that's some stiffy peaks that's right there. Peak. All right. Anyway. <laughs> it got worse. <laughs> All right. Bye. If you're looking for somewhere new to fly on the internet, like me, 
as you can tell by my cool flight outfit, then check out Aviation Explanation for Black Box Down. It's a new animated show where we break down what happens on some of the craziest plane crashes ever. Uh, it's, the first episode's right there. Go click. Go click. Fly away with it.